I don't know why I took so much time to make this video or why I haven't I made one before. Anyways, you guys asked for it, so here it is. Hey guys, it's Saga, and in the 21st video of this year, I'm going to show you guys what's on my iPhone. Or what's on my iPhone 13 mini, to be precise. The phone that I'm using never remains the same for more than 3 or 4 months, and right now I'm using the iPhone 13 mini. I was using the iPhone 13 Pro before I swapped it with my wife's iPhone 13 for about 3 to 4 weeks since I wanted to make its long term review. Even after I was done shooting that video, I didn't want to go back to the iPhone 13 Pro because of how heavy it was. In all of the time that I was using the iPhone 13, I never missed a high refresh rate display or even the 3x telephoto lens of the iPhone 13 Pro. And I really liked how light it was. So I decided to ditch the iPhone 13 Pro and get a 13 for me as well. But then I thought, why not go ahead and get the iPhone 13 mini since this is probably going to be the last mini iPhone. And here we are. We can't start a what's on my phone video without talking about what is actually on my phone. As much as I like the flat edges of this iPhone 13 mini, I always use it with a case on. I've been using this soft touch case from MacPack since the last few weeks and I really love it. It fits the phone perfectly and the soft touch silicon material offers you a ton of grip. It gets a raised lip for the display and the camera, so you don't have to worry about which way you are facing the phone when placing it on any surface. It's not only compatible with the MagSafe wireless charger, but also gets a few extra strong magnets at the back which allows you to attach more accessories to it, like this MacBag wallet with a finger loop. This case with the wallet and the car keys is all I carry with me whenever I leave the house. This wallet will also double as a stand for your phone which is a really nice touch. A big shout out to MacBag for sponsoring this video and supporting this channel. Please make sure to head to MacBag's website to check out these and more accessories that they offer. You can use the code TECHWORKS15 to get a 15% discount on your order. Alright, now let me just turn the phone around. I know many people are going to ask me about the wallpaper which I am using. Actually this and most of the other wallpapers that you have seen on my channel have been from the basic Apple guy. I am going to link it in the description section. I like to have a sharp wallpaper on my screen, but the same wallpaper might make the home screen look too cluttered. So almost always I have a slightly blurred version of the same wallpaper as the background of my home screen. It makes the app icons look like they are popping out. I have three home screens on my phone. First one has the apps which I use almost every day. Second one has some of the apps which I use less often and the third screen has the least used apps. Ever since Apple introduced widgets on the home screen in iOS, I have always had at least one widget on each of my home screens. This first widget is from Color Widgets. It's a basic widget which shows me the battery percent, day, time and the date. If you click on it, you have a ton of other widgets to choose from. I like to use this basic one. Down in the dock, I have the apps which I use the most. There is phone, Safari, a folder with YouTube Studio, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube app and the camera app. All of these apps are used multiple times a day. In the first row below the color widget, I have calendar, FaceTime, clock and weather app. In the next row, I have contacts and calculator. Then there is the files app, which I use to sync the data between my iPhone, Mac and my iPad. And then I have two email apps, Gmail and Newton Mail. Normally I only use Newton Mail, but from the last few days I am having some sync issues with the app. So for that reason, I am using Gmail as well. Next, I have a folder with all my shopping apps. There is Big Basket, Flipkart, Amazon and Dunzo for shopping and OLX I just use for selling my used products. I think Amazon is the app which I use the most. Then there is Messenger and another folder with all my finance apps. Here I have my credit card, debit card, PayPal account, PTM, Google Pay, Beam, DigiLocker. It's not a financial app but I still have it here. Mobivik and PTM money. Then I have WhatsApp, Notes, Photos and Settings in the bottom row. These are the apps which I use the most so I have them set in the bottom row which is the easiest to reach with my thumb. I love the Notes app because whenever I am typing anything on this app, it syncs up instantaneously on all of my other Apple products. Coming to the second screen, I have a calendar widget at the top. It shows me the date and the events and reminders which I have coming up. Then I have a batteries widget. You might have noticed that I have a battery widget of some sort on all of my home screens. Well that is because on these phones, we can't see the battery percent unless we bring the notification center down. And I don't want to go through extra step to just know the battery percent on my phone. Next up we have the app store, a folder with all of the health apps like health, watch and fitness. Next up I have the blue link app. This is an app from Hyundai which lets me connect to my car. I really love this app. It will let me start the engine, lock or unlock the car and even turn on the AC before time and I really love this app. Next up I have a folder with my food delivery apps, Swiggy, Zomato, Starbucks and Pizza Hut. Next up, I have a folder with all of my streaming apps. First app is Apple Music which is my go-to music app because of how good the sound quality is. And there is Prime Video, Netflix, 
हॉटस्टार एप्पल टीवी प्लस सोनी लिव वूट जी फाइव एंड प्राइम वीडियो यस आई पी फॉर ऑल ऑफ दी स्ट्रीमिंग एप्स देन आई हैव अ फोल्डर विद अ फ्यू एप्स विच आई यूज टू टेक फोटोज एंड वीडियोज एंड इवन एडिट दम ओवर यर फर्स्ट ऑफ इन दिस फोल्डर इज द मोमेंट ऐप दिस ऐप गिव यू ग्रेनुलर कंट्रोल ओवर योर इमेजेस एंड वीडियोज एंड आई लव दिस ऐप देन देर इज हेलाइट I primarily use this app to manipulate the depth information in any photos. Then there is Filmic Pro, which if you guys don't know is the best app for taking videos with your iPhone. The interface is not that great, but the quality of the videos is really good. Then there is Double Take, which is a very interesting app from the same guys which make Filmic Pro. It will let you take videos with any two cameras on your phone at a time. It is really good. Then there is this Lens Distortion app. I use this app a lot to edit my thumbnails. This app lets me add flares to my images. Next up we have Snapseed which is the only third party photo editing app which I use. Then there is this app Unfold which will let you create beautiful stories for your social media apps. Next up in this row I have the Telegram messaging app and Apple Maps. I don't use Apple Maps a lot but I really like how rich their maps look compared to the Google Maps at least in India. And Splitwise is the first app in the bottom most row. Then I have a folder with Google apps like Google Photos, Google Keep, Drive, Google Maps and Google Home. I use Google Home to control my Nest Audio. And I use the Google Keep app when I'm using an Android phone and I want to sync notes between the iPhone and that phone. Then there is a folder with all of my crypto apps. Out of all these, I think Wazir X is the one which I use the most. And the last app on this home page is Imaging Edge. This app lets me connect my Sony A7S III to the iPhone and use it as a viewfinder. Coming to the final home screen, I have the fitness widget over here and again a batteries widget. Then there is the productivity folder with just numbers and keynotes. I barely use these apps on my phone. Then there is the Airtel app followed by the LifeX app which is the app which I used to control the smart lights in my studio. And finally there is the Zipon app which lets me control my motorized slider. So that is what's on my iPhone 13 mini. These apps mostly remain constant over the years and I don't like to clutter my phone with many of the apps. In fact I actually found some apps which I haven't used in a while so I might as well delete them after I'm done shooting this video. Which are some of your favorite apps and widgets which you just can't live without? Let me know in the comments. That is it for this video guys. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel for a lot more quality tech videos like this. You can also check out some of the other videos from this channel. This has been Saga and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.